Hi Capricorn, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to all my subscribers. And if you're new here, a really warm welcome to you. So we are going to just be doing a quick love reading for you guys. Let's see what's happening in the love department. As you can see, I'm doing a slightly different um, reading for you guys, different camera angle happening here so let's see what is it that our Sag Capricorn sorry you may be dealing with the Sagittarius that came out although I have just done the reading so it could be for that reason what is it that our, our Capricorn collective need to know please for their highest good Capricorn love reading please the person on their mind. Okay. Oh my gosh, we've just had this for Sagittarius. Mm, okay. All right, let me just see my glasses. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is. Gosh, what is going on with everybody in their love relationships? This looks, uh, the, the five signs have all been having trouble and now we have got the, starting with Capricorn as well. Things seem to be going in a different direction for everyone. So the lovers in reverse is definitely saying that um, with the Prince of Wands and the Emperor in the reverse, this is, this is a player that you guys are dealing with without question. The lovers is, I mean, in this card, as I said to Sagittarians now, you can have a look. There are three people involved here. Okay. So, a third party is involved. So we've got the Prince of Wands coming out in the reverse and the Emperor in the reverse. So, you could be dealing with an Emperor figure, who maybe someone that's older than you. Usually it's the father of the tarot. We're doing a love reading. So it's somebody who is perhaps a little bit older than you. Um, something like that. But the, this Prince of Wands indicates that this is a player. And he's in the reverse. So this is definite. I have no doubt in my mind. The Emperor is someone who is really arrogant. Okay. This is the boss of his own business. He could be an Aries uh, that you are dealing with doesn't have to be, could just be someone like this who is playing the field. I mean, that's just as plain as, I mean, as I can get. That is the answer here in these three cards. This emperor that you are dealing with is playing the field. Okay, now in and out of the relationship, um, I can see affairs going on here. You know, there's more than one partner. It's plain as day. Been getting this message for a few people so obviously if you look at the other readings um third party might be one of those other signs as well so you know i can't get any more clear than that you're dealing with someone who is really arrogant who is playing the field and having affairs this is what i'm seeing i'm sorry i can't put it in any other way The King of Wands coming out in the reverse. The Three of Wands coming out in the reverse. Jesus. The High Priestess coming out in the reverse. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I've got the Seven of Swords also coming out here. And this is all to do with conflicts. Someone who wants to one up on someone else. So there could be some big conflict going on here with some of you Capricorns regarding a love relationship. Someone who doesn't mind who they trample on. You know, they don't mind if it hurts you, if they're having a, an affair with someone else, basically. It's causing a conflict here. We've got the King of Wands coming out as well in the reverse. I see this as the same person as the Emperor. Um... Also, just a very arrogant type of person, this king, 
Both of these are fire signs, the emperor and the king of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign here. Doesn't have to be. But this is a very kind of, you know, upright. He's really confident. Um, he's the boss of his own business. He's someone who's really creative. Someone who is very attractive and magnetic. So I'm just seeing that he's using this. And he or she, please, roles can be reversed. Genders can be reversed. You know, as I said before, there's no judgment on my channel. I just say he because it's the king. Um, I think he's using this charisma, this charismatic side of himself to lure in other parties. That's what I'm seeing. I'm sorry. But that is what I'm seeing here. The emperor is the same in the reverse. I think this is the same person, someone who owns his own business, who sort of thinks they're the bee's knees and they can uh, play the field. That's what I'm seeing. I'm getting this, yeah, strong me. The three of wands in the reverse, the three of wands upright is all about playing the field. I'm sorry. The three of wands is all about waiting for your ships to come in. Sorry. There is someone playing the field. I mean, I've been saying this for the last three fire signs. So you really could be dealing with a fire sign here or have a lot of fire sign in your chart or something like that. A fire in your chart. Sorry, I can't get my words out today. Okay, so uh, I can't really show you this card properly for YouTubes, whatever. But if you can see here, hopefully you can, there are three people in this three of wands. The tradition, traditional three of wands doesn't have three people in it. But this particular deck, it does. And we've got three people there, three people there. Somebody is using their uh, charisma. And there are, there are three people involved. In this relationship that's what I'm seeing and I think it's being hidden from you because we've got the high priestess here coming out in the reverse now the high priestess upright can mean that there are secrets someone is withholding information from you in the reverse there's going to be this is going to come out into the open the secret of this uh, third party is going to be revealed that's what I'm seeing here for you guys Okay, you might also be a fire sign with a lot of Capricorn in your chart. So it's always best to watch your um, sun sign, rising sign, all those things. Because I've been having a lot of this kind of affair stuff. We had it just for Sagittarius. I think we had it for Aries, um, Leo as well. We had some of it going on, but theirs did sound a little bit more positive. So... Um, yeah, just to take take that as it resonates in your life. But I'm seeing that this secret is going to be revealed about this player. I'm trying to think of the word. There's a there's a word I want for this player person. Um, I can't think of it now. Um, Gigolo. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. A type of gigolo type that is wanting to go out and just, you know, I mean, this fire is also a lot of kind of sexual energy. And this secret is going to come out. All right. That's what I'm giving you, Capricorn. Please leave me a comment if this is, is resonating with you. Um, also, please... Please hit the like button. It really does help my channel to grow. It uh, helps me in a lot of ways. So just if you can just click that like button, it lights up, it's beautiful, it's shiny, and it's fun. Okay. So one last message for Capricorn Love message, please. One last message for Capricorn Love. Okay, you've got, you've got quite a few that have come out here. I'm going to take 
and I'm actually not going to take any of them. There are too many. It was about five or six, and I literally just want one card, please. One card for Capricorn. One card. One card to sum up this reading. Finish off this reading. One last message. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to take this one because it's flipped out. It's the Ten of Cups. I mean, there are too many cards that have come out here, so I'm not going to take them. This could be a family situation where someone is having an affair, for some of you. For others of you, the secret is going to come out, and you may get back together again. There may be a commitment. This, this card can also mean you're happily ever after. I often see that children may be involved in this card, but it doesn't have to be. It is a strong love relationship. So there is some happiness that is in this relationship. Or it could mean that you are waiting for your happily ever after. And perhaps it is, um, you know, it doesn't, everything is in reverse in this whole entire reading except for this one. I want to take another one for you guys. Tell me about this Ten of Cups, please. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. So for some of you, as I say, this secret is going to come out. And perhaps a commitment is going to be made if the secret comes out. Things are going to change for you. Okay, this, you see, this has come out. It's tem upright, it's temperance. And this has come out in the reverse. So there's an imbalance happening within a love relationship. And there is an imbalance because it's topsy-turvy. Everything is upside down. So there is some form of imbalance happening within a love relationship that could be you could have a family with this person or you could uh, live together. There's a little castle in the background there. But there is a huge imbalance. For some of you, this person could drink a lot or something like that. So I've got the cup spilling out. So there could be some addiction involved for some of you. That's just for a few of you. Um, that may be what is causing this imbalance and all this uh, player energy going on. But there's a lack of moderation, okay? And I think you also, you're getting impatient with this whole situation. So I'm seeing there is a potential for happiness, or there was happiness, or you are in like some form of committed relationship, or you are living together. And behind your back, all of this has been happening. And this secret is going to come out soon. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. There's an imbalance happening within a love relationship. And that is why the cards are all turned upside down. There's no balance. It's imbalanced completely, this reading. Okay. So that is your message, Sagitt uh, Capricorn. Okay, you definitely could be dealing with a Sagittarian, some of you. You might just have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart. I don't know. But I've now said that about five times. So this is definitely for you, Capricorn, though. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. I hope it's made some sense. As I said, please comment, please like, please share the video if you think it can help somebody else out. I'm sending you so much love. Mwah. See you in the next one. Bye.